This week on Gun Talk, we're in Texas, going after some predators, coyotes, bobcat, maybe we'll throw in some hogs for good measure. Got some great guns and optics, some good ammo, we're going to have a lot of fun, stay tuned. We're down here with the guys from Warhog, traditionally known for tactical hog hunting in South Texas. Well, today, Ivan Brightwell has a plan to get me on some predators. Well, tell me about this place you got here. We primarily concentrate on hog eradication. We do the night vision thermal stuff. We run about 100,000 acres here for different farmers, different ranchers. Again, concentrating on the hog population. Right. Rice country down here, hogs do a lot of damage. We get into some coyotes yeah. for the other ranchers. You know, we'll go ahead, uh, the cattle ranchers down here, they, we see a coyote, we take them out. We see quite a few of them at night. Uh, yeah. We do do a little bit of the coyote bobcat stuff during the day. So I think that's what we're going to, we're going to give it a shot and see if we can't get some in. Well, that's the fun part about Texas. You come down here and you say, let's try to go after coyotes and bobcats and maybe we'll run into some hogs. Maybe we'll shoot a raccoon or a possum or whatever, but you kind of have a mixed bag. Absolutely. We got plenty of stuff, plenty of critters to shoot at down here. Well, we got some weather coming in the next few days. Yeah, the weather's not looking so great. The forecast is a lot of rain, a lot of yeah. wind. Yeah. Uh, you can tell the wind's already picked up out here today, so. Yeah, it's definitely coming in. And, you know, you don't get to choose your weather, so we'll just work with it and see what we get. Absolutely. All right, let's get after it. Okay. Like every hunt, we need to sight in our guns. We made sure our day scopes and our thermal scopes were on, just in case. Heading to our first location. First spot of the night. We sat for about 15, 20 minutes. Didn't see anything. The National Weather Service says we have winds gusting from 30 to 35 miles an hour. So it's like tropical storm down here in South Texas. Hopefully the winds will lay down a little bit because I'm not so sure the coyotes want to move around when the wind's like this and they can't hear anything. We'll keep trying another spot. All right, we really have a storm coming in. Windy, starting to drizzle a little bit. Perfect coyote weather, right? We're gonna see what happens. Second location, here we go. Location two, nothing. You trying to call house cats? Yeah. You trying to call house cats? That's a bobcat in you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, nada. Well, the weather is not ideal right now, but we don't get to pick our weather. So we're gonna try another spot. Maybe we'll have better luck. Location three. We got about an hour, hour and a half of light left. We're gonna see what happens here. We're hoping we can get a bobcat. He says this place might be good for bobcats. So we haven't seen anything yet. We'll see what we get. Spot number three, nothing. We're gonna go on to spot number four. Allegedly, they saw a big bobcat down there about a week ago. So we'll see what we can do. Keep trying, keep hunting. That's why they call it hunting, right? All right, tomorrow I got a plan. Set. I'm going online and I'm buying a sling for every rifle I own. <laughs> you carry this thing a lot more than you shoot it. I remember my first Texas hog hunt.
As we carried the hog back to the truck, we saw a group of... Pro tip number six, when it gets hot and you take off your rain jacket and leave it in the car, it's gonna start raining. 